Welcome back everyone. I wanted to show you uh, one of the features of Bridgebase Online, which is um, practicing your declarer play and comparing it against uh, other people. So we're going to log into Bridgebase Online here. And I'm already uh, set up there. <clears throat> And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, go here to the link on uh, competitive. And uh, if you want to put your free tournaments, it will come up with a list of um, free tournaments that are running. You, you can click this bar thing on the right to make the screen bigger there. And the one I'm looking at today is the free weekend survivor, day one of two. It's a uh, tournament for the individual so the bidding gets done by the computer or robots and then you end up as declarer and have to try to uh, make the contract um, and um, it's actually run over two days so you can enter on the first day and if you qualify you'll be uh, you can enter on the second day so this is what you get if I click on this link um, it comes up with this thing describing it. It's eight boards, which is a nice number of boards. I'm going to register here, and um, then it turns yellow once you're registered, and if you click again, you can now play in the event. So here comes the, uh, the hand, and as I said, it just shows you the, uh, the bidding, which was done by robots. By the way, this... Uh, I'm going to change my settings here on this account to get rid of sound here. So to do that, I click on Account Settings, and I want to get rid of uh, sound effects there. The rest of it can stay. And then click on Account again to make the screen uh, large again. So um, very often it shows you the bidding quite quickly. It doesn't matter too much on this hand because um, the opponents didn't bid, but if you want to look at the bidding, click on this link again and it will show you how it went. One diamond, two clubs, two diamonds, two hearts, three diamonds, three no trump. And all this bidding was done by the computer or robots. And if you want, you can click on any of the bids for a, a description of it. So what's it say there? <clears throat> uh, three no trump bid, the final one, shows at least five clubs. Four or five hearts, that's because you bid clubs and then hearts. Um, uh, four or less spades, a uh, total of 14 to 21 high card points, and a likely stop in spades. That makes sense, doesn't it? Um, so that would be the, pretty much the same bidding as you'd have if you were playing tackle, although these computers, as I say, are actually playing. Um, a variant of five card majors called two over one. Okay, so let's see. Let's let's start off counting our top tricks here. Uh, diamonds. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got uh, eight diamonds. That means the opponents have got five. If they divide evenly, we can make um, all of them. So that's going to be our main. Uh, goal on this and try and make all those diamonds if possible. We've obviously got two clubs, two hearts, and um, probably we're going to make a, a spade there as long as we don't lead the suit ourselves. I think we have a very good chance to make a spade trick there. Um, so we have a stop at least. So what's your plan on this hand going to be? Well, I think I'm going to win the first trick and then switch to diamonds. And if they divide 3-2, I'm going to take all the uh, diamonds. If they don't, I may have to lose one, but I'll keep the king of hearts as an entry uh, so I can get back to them. Um, and also, I just want to point out these boards are all scored as uh, match points, which basically means you need to go for over tricks to get a really good uh, score. So that's what we're going to do. Let's play uh, first trick. Um, I'll win that one with the ace, and I'm going to play the diamonds. Okay. Got 
play this card in the club. Okay, so there's some bad news. So we played one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that means one person's got two um, diamonds left. I would like to double check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sorry, one, two, three, four was the first round, and in the second round, two of those. That's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That means there are two diamonds up. So what I'm going to do is um, give up her, play another diamond, uh, maybe a heart there, and then another diamond will establish the suit. Now, playing a spade, well, I think as long as I play the jack here, I should be okay. So I'm going to be able to run the suit. Okay, we're in now. And... Um, all we're going to do now is uh, play the cut over the dummy, the king, play the remaining diamonds now. Let's just check which are most of the winners now. So we've made um, 10 tricks there. Um, I think that's a reasonably good score. Um, I don't know if they could have done any better or not. Uh, it's gone straight on to the next board here. But I just want to show you a few things you can look at. If you click on history here, it will show you um, in the split screen the board that was last played. And... Um, you can, uh, down here, board one, if you click here on uh, show double dummy, you'll see what the computer says you uh, could have made. It's quite small, but I think it's probably saying you're going to make uh, an over trick on most leads. They actually led a, um, a club there. So so that is the uh, what happened. They took, what, two clubs, and <clears throat> they took a diamond, too. Not much we could do about that. All right, so let's um, go on to the next board. Um, and again, it's just showing you the hand. If you want to see what how the bidding went, it went like this. So let's go through it. One club, so this got to a club suit of some kind. One spade, pass, pass, double, two hearts. So I'm bidding both majors here. My partner's put me back into two spades. And again, if you're interested in what any of the bids mean, uh, like two spade bid, all it's showing is 10 or fewer total points. That's not a very informative, is it? Okay, so here we are in two spades, and we can get rid of that by clicking on the uh, link again. And let's have a look, and just to remind ourselves again, okay, so East opened one club, that could be a short club, and then opened again with a double. So here we are in two spades, and where are we in danger of losing tricks here? Well, we might lose a spade. We could try the finesse, perhaps a king four like this over here. Hearts, interesting. Uh, clubs, we've got one loser there, and diamonds, we've got two losers. So let's go through it again. Um, let's say two diamond losers. One club loser, um, maybe a spade, maybe some um, heart losers. Um, there's a chance we might be able to set up some diamonds, but um, don't think we'll don't think we'll find that very easy. First key question is what does our lead of the five heart show? Are they likely to have um, led away from the queen? Um, the computer here does often not lead away from uh, queens, um, so 
I'm a little bit doubtful as to whether um, there's a lot to play here. Let's suppose I play the jack. There we go. I knew that would happen. All right. So we're in the um, in Southland. Now we said we wanted to finesse, didn't we? So maybe we can get there with the uh, Ace of Clubs. Maybe we should be um, roughing the hearts. It's another possible way to play this, isn't there? Hmm. Unlikely because we have to rough low. Let's just finesse. That one worked. Um, now what? Can we get to dummy to repeat the finesse? Let's try it with the eight of hearts. I don't think we can get roughed here. Let's run with the heart. See what happens. Okay. Oh, he's obliged me by pleading the king of spades. Not sure why he did that. All right. So, how many trumps have gone? Eight now. Nine, ten, eleven. So there's two more. Okay, let's get rid of them, I think. And there's still one out standing. Okay. And I wasn't really paying attention when the hearts were played, but I don't think this heart is good. But let's play it anyway. Back comes the clubs. So we're just going to make our contract here. So we'll make one more trick. Are we rough this one? And we are definitely going to lose these last two tricks. The um, computer is very good at hanging on to the right cards at the end. Uh, very rarely can you make it. Um, so we we um, we just made the contract um, uh, there. Um, okay, let's go on to the next one. So one spade, one no trump, two hearts, three spades, four spades. Again, I like to look at that a little bit longer. So let's click on that again. One spade, one no trump. This um, bid here, this one no trump. Um, is actually uh, not six to nine points, it's actually something like six to twelve um, points, um, and it's forcing for one round. It, it's part of the two over one system where a response at the two level in the new suit shows enough for game. That's what's called two over one is game forcing. So one that Trump has is the wider ranging bit here. Here they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And, uh, and one the trump is right bid because two diamonds would have been game forcing. So uh, let's see. We are here in four spades, and it looks like we might lose a spade. Although that spade lead looks kind of helpful for us. So um, what about the hearts? The hearts. If we can take the king jack, that's no losers there. In fact, that leaves us only with a club and a diamond loser. So can we, a club and a diamond would probably be a good score for us. Okay, uh, so um, what should we do? We've got the, we've got pretty high spades here. Um, I think I'll play low here. And then if I win it in hand, I can cross to a heart to repeat the finesse. Okay, he's obliged me by playing the ace there. So um, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there's two more um, two more spades outstanding. Okay. Uh, so let's cross over to a spade. Okay. One more spade outstanding. Okay, that's Trump's gone. So now we're going to cash our hearts. So 
fairly straightforward now with just because of diamond being active with it, I think. Um, it seems to think only better here than just getting back to our hand. Lose one trick here. <coughs> With the diamond. Not. Well, I've got the club. <coughs> and I'm just going to um, concede one trick here, barring a miracle. In fact, we're going to use this feature here to claim. So we're going to claim all but one trick. Now if you try to make an illegal claim here, like making five tricks, the computer will reject you. Okay, so you can't really get away with it. But I, what I want to claim is four tricks. Okay, and they've accepted that. So anyway, that's um, uh, a brief look at that. When you've um, finished, uh, and as I mentioned, this was eight boards, you can go back um, here to uh, uh, recent hands and recent tournaments. Or in fact, if you were, you don't have to play here. You, you can uh, sort of leave the table. It will remember where you were. Um, and then uh, later on, you can look, this, this will appear under complete and you'll be able to, uh, to see your results. As you can see, it's been played by uh, 8,000 people already. So um, you get a pretty interesting selection of uh, results there. Anyway, that's um, one of the things I enjoy doing on uh, Bridge Base. Other than playing with people, it's quite fun to uh, do those practice declarer hands. So welcome back, everyone. This is part two of the demo we were looking at, of looking at uh, replaying some computer hands. So it's the next day now. And uh, I'm just going to go in and look at the results as they were uh, published. So I'm going to switch to the Bridge Base online screen, log into that. And uh, sometimes you'll get a message pop up showing you your uh, results. Otherwise, you can go and look at uh, what happened when you played this event. So we're clicking there at um, free tournaments, which is what we did yesterday. And the one from yesterday is complete. And this is the one here marked in yellow. It says free weekend survivor day one of two. So what we're going to do is uh, click on that and it will bring up this little um, box that will show you your results. And um, and I did all right there. I got 62.89%. I came 1,272 out of 14,000 uh, players. And I've qualified for the next round. So this is a sort of special event to run over two days. And if you do well enough in the first day, you get to play in the second day. Um, so I will uh, complete that later on. But what I wanted to do was to show you uh, what you can do by clicking on these uh, links here, like show boards. And here is the, uh, here are my results on these eight boards. It's showing me my percentage score on uh, all of them. Um, and if you recall, we went through the first three boards um, in the earlier part of the video. Uh, and you can uh, look at the Traveller, you can look at the movie, which will do both of those for one of these boards. Let's just look at the first board. And just remember, I played that in three no Trump. I got plus one, and that was worth 58%. Uh, so if we click on the Traveller, we'll see what happened. Well, we expect everyone to be playing in the same contract because um, it was bid by the robots. And indeed, you can see everyone was playing that in three no Trump. Here am I. I managed three no trump plus one, which was worth 58%. Uh, if I'd made one fewer trick, it would only be worth 14%. And you can see some people uh, went down here as well. 
and uh, some people got a very good score by making plus two. And you can click at that and, and see how they did that, or you can click at your own on your own movie, which shows how you um, played the hand. So let's um, bring up the four hands here, and um, this shows the bidding as it was, and we ended up in three no trump. And what you can do is just click on next here or use the uh, right arrow uh, to show you how it actually went. And um, you can see what I did was I won the first trick, and if you recall, I started on the diamonds. I I played, um, planned to play three rounds of diamonds right away, and I discovered the slightly bad break, so I had to lose a diamond. Okay, East gets in with a nine, and um, at, at this point, uh, East, the robot, uh, played a spade back. And um, at any point, if you're interested to see what the right line to play is, you can click on this GIB button, which will show you that, for example, on this hand, uh, if I played the queen or jack, I should be able to make an overtrick. That's what that one means. But if I played the nine, I would be held to nine tricks. I think you can see that, that the nine would lose to the ten, and then I uh, wouldn't make any spade trick. So the correct play is indeed to play one of your honours. They'll take the ace and then the king. And if they play a third spade, your queen will uh, will win a trick. Okay. And then after that, it was uh, fairly straightforward. I just uh, crossed over to dummy and uh, ran the rest of the diamonds. So um, I think that's very interesting. You can replay any board. You can see, you know, if someone did better. What did they do? Um, uh, and, and this thing here says a sample movie because obviously there are many people who played it in, for example, Queen of Trump uh, going uh, down. Well, nine people it says there. And uh, it will, we'll, we'll just show you one of those. So um, that's how you uh, can play in these events. That's how you can look at your results afterwards. And I hope you found that uh, something you'd like to try yourselves. Okay, thank you.